Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4K picture of Hacksaw Ridge. Now, this is a release I had to be very patient with. It came out a couple of months ago, and it was going for around 37, 38 pounds, which was working out at around 43 euro. And I just thought that was crazy money uh, to get this movie on steelbook form. So I held off, and thank God I did hold off, because it went down to 22 euro, and uh, 22 euro for this movie on 4K in this beautiful looking steelbook I thought was a great deal. And not only that, but it comes with that clear slip case as well. And I am a big fan of them clear slip cases, as you know. As for the movie itself, uh, it stars Andrew Garfield, who plays this soldier by the name of Desmond Doss. And he is responsible for saving the lives of 75 of his fellow soldiers. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, he... Um, he got the Congressional Medal of Honor and he's the first ever soldier to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor without actually picking up or firing a single firearm uh, during this war. It's amazing when you actually look at this movie, some of the hardships that Desmond Doss had to go through, even with his fellow soldiers. Uh, they just resented him because he would not pick up or fire a firearm. And thank God Mel Gibson uh, directed this movie because it's one of them stories that's kind of fallen through the cracks of history. And if it wasn't for Mel Gibson kind of digging this up, there's a great chance that we would never have actually heard of this movie or heard of this story and heard of Desmond Doss and what he'd done to save all them men. Andrew Garfield is fantastic in this movie and he's worthy of his Oscar nomination. And Mel Gibson gives us another reason to why he is such a, an incredible director and why he should be behind the camera a lot more. And hopefully we do see more of Mel Gibson in the future because uh, I honestly think he's an incredibly talented director. Right, so let's uh, take us around this steel book and then I will come back and I will briefly talk about the 4K picture. Right, so here we go, Hacksaw Ridge, and uh, yes, I, I did fall in love with this steelbook when I did see it, but like I said at the start of the video, there was no way I was ever going to pay uh, the money that they were asking for it, no matter how nice the steelbook is, and thankfully uh, it didn't sell out, because um, I have to admit, even though I wasn't going to pay the money for it, I think if it did sell out, I would have been kind of heartbroken over it, but again, look, it worked out in the end. So uh, there you go, that is a, just a quick look at the, the slip cover you get on this, and I will take it off and I'll show the steelbook in full. So uh, that is the uh, the spine of it there. I hope he's going to make it out. And then around to the back, and uh, that just gives you uh, everything, some of the features that you have on it there, and a uh, close look at some of the technical aspects as well. So I will remove this uh, slip cover off, and I'll just show you exactly what it looks like. So there we go, that's the slip cover gone, and just uh, again, just a quick look at the, uh, the slip cover itself. So uh, yeah, move that to a side, and then here we go, the steel book itself. And of course, you've got Andrew Garfield there. Uh, in the background and I presume that's him standing there by himself looking down at the soldiers uh, probably the dead soldiers unfortunately so uh, yeah that is uh, a beautiful looking steelbook I do love the artwork on it and uh, I think Lionsgate made the right choice on this one so uh, I'll take it around to the back and again you see Andrew Garfield and he's attending to certain uh, some of the soldiers from the looks of things so uh, I will open the steelbook in full and that is it in full and look at that it's just it's absolutely fantastic it really really is uh, beautiful, beautiful looking steelbook, and I'm so happy to finally now have this in my collection. Right, so turn it around, and there you go, you got your two discs. You got your Blu-ray, and you got your 4K, 4K disc, and uh, both discs have uh, different colour schemes. So uh, I will just show you quickly the 4K up front, and then take that away, and then you've got your, your Blu-ray disc if it does come out. There we go. And put that to a side, and then that is the inside of your steelbook. So yes, great looking steelbook, great to finally have it in my collection, and uh, thankfully it worked out this time. Right folks, so there you have it, that is the steelbook, and that is Hacksaw Ridge. Uh, wow, long time to get that movie finally in my collection. Right, so on to the 4K picture, but before we do, let's go through some technical aspects first. It has an aspect ratio of 240 by 1. It supports HDR10, but no Dolby Vision. It's also got a Dolby Atmos soundtrack. It has a running time of 139 minutes and it's an upscaled 4K disc. Right, so Hacksaw Ridge is one of them movies that takes a small step over the Blu-ray, but not a leap. It is a 2K upscale disc and it's a beautiful looking 2K upscale disc. Uh, I think you are going to be very pleased by what you see. 
Uh, there is an increased amount of resolution and sharpness to the picture now and it can be clearly seen on the usual suspects. When you look at the soldiers in this movie, uh, you can clearly see on their uniforms now the fabric is just uh, there's an amount, a serious amount of detail to it. And then when you have these uh, close-up shots on their faces, it just reveals their pores and there is a, yes, an increased amount of detail that you just don't see on the Blu-ray. The black levels for the most part look great and the shadow detail is absolutely amazing as well. But what makes this uh, 4K release stand out over the Blu-ray and what gives you, gives you that considerable leap is the HDR colours. The HDR, the palette of this movie now just has a more natural look to it, uh, just has a real natural presence to it. And uh, these colours just cannot be matched with that previous Blu-ray. And I think just for the HDR alone, I think it's worth picking this 4K release up. The only problem I had with it was some of the CGI that you do see in this movie. I think it stands out a lot more now, uh, the CGI in this, because of decreased uh, sharpness and colour. Uh, some of the CGI just, yeah, it just sticks out a little bit more. It just doesn't look as natural as it might have done on the previous Blu-ray. But that is just a minor nitpick to a very beautiful looking disc. But so is the Blu-ray. But this one does, there is a not considerable but it's a subtle difference and I think you will appreciate some of the subtle things you will see on this picture. The Dolby Atmos is fantastic, it really really is. It's one of those soundtracks that if you have a doubt or that people that don't really think much of Dolby Atmos or that don't think that Dolby Atmos can do a whole lot when it comes to audio, uh, this is the movie that you do want to knock on and show them what Atmos can really really do. It's just one of them movies where every single one of your speakers are firing on all cylinders. Uh, the overhead channels are just so unbelievably active and so is your rear speakers, it's borderline frightening. Uh, this is definitely one of my go-to demo discs when it comes to Dolby Atmos. The dialogue is clean, it comes out of your center channel and it never gets drowned out even by the heaviest of action sequences. It is a remarkable Dolby Atmos soundtrack. So that is it folks, just a quick review on this movie and what I thought of the 4K picture and the Dolby Atmos. And uh, yeah, I think it's a winner, I really, really do. And if you are a fan of this movie, I think you should pick it up on 4K because um, just for the Dolby Atmos and the HDR colors, I think you're gonna be very impressed by what you see and hear. So that is it folks, that is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of the, uh, the 4K transfer on it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.